Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Pokemon Coliseum gameplay. Alright, the last part we took out pretty much every single trainer uh, up until the stairs that are coming up. Um, yeah, let me just make sure my party is the way I want it to be. Crocodile and us, we're gonna sip of it. Awesome. Let's battle this person. Come and get some, we're gunning our engines. Anyway, uh, Ryder Rowling would like the bat. Interesting. Dojo and Ladyba. Interesting. So, please. Uh, Crocodile and Espeon. So, Crocodile's, um, park age has gone down completely, so that's very nice. Um,. Still really can't do anything with that yet, but we will be able to later in the game. Not gonna spoil anything, but just saying. Anyway, confusion we'll use on Doduo to try and get that down. Nope. Just barely saves up. Dodo is gonna use Fury Attack. Alright, hit twice, not bad. Okay, Lady Buddy's Comet Punch. Another multiple hit attack. Uh, only three times. Well I mean really didn't do that much damage still. So Crocodile's gonna surf, but she can get a Doe Duo. And I know that she has one more Pokemon. Ladybug takes decent damage, I'm not really gonna go anywhere with that. Alright, uh, Swift. Not really a really awesome move, but it does have 60 power, so I guess I'll get rid of Helping Hand. Really, that doesn't serve too much of a purpose. So... That's behind there as well. Swab Blue is set out. Alright. Let's go with the um, Surf. And let's try Confusion on Ladybug. Actually, we should have tried Confusion on Swab Blue, but. Alright, I'll take it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, uh. Maybe it was still a good idea to hit Ladybug. Alright. Twice. Alright. Swab Blue is going to use Astonish. Critical hit, we'll crock it on flinch. Okay, well, eh, that's not what I wanted, but okay. Sorry, SBN is confusion. I'm not really using Slip too much, because it's not really that good of a move. It's really only if, like, they're really weak, or if you're trying to weaken a Shadow Pokemon. Other than that, Slip is really, like, not that powerful, so, yeah. So, I'm going to use Astonish. And Espeon. Espeon's already moved, so it doesn't flinch this turn, but Crocodile, however, will usurp. Maybe if you get rid of Swift Blue. Uh, nope. I didn't really think it would, but Ladybug definitely will go down. Ladybug fainted. Espeon gets some decent experience. And all we gotta do is beat that Swift Blue. Um, we'll use Swift. Show you how uh, effective this is. That's all for the paint. That's where I'm getting some experience, and we defeated a Rider Rally and dropped in the third. 320 bucks for winning, and not really, we didn't take that much damage, so I only lost because I didn't have a Shadow Pokemon this time. Ooh. Perhaps for Shadow, she might have one in the future. My Pokemon are solid troopers, check them out. And we have Hunter Tura. Tura? Am I pronouncing it right? Tura? 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 Yara? Tura? No. Anyway, Steel and Snorun. Steel's a fantastic Pokemon, but Snorun not so much. Still, very tough to beat these two. Um, I don't really think Surf would be that good against Steel, but nonetheless, it would be decent to use, so. Let's just go for it. I mean, it hits both Pokemon, so it's gotta do some kind of damage. Anyway, Confusion can hit Steel, not gonna kill it, but really comes close. Snorlax can use Bite, hitting Crocodile. Alright. And then Crocodile flinched. Unfortunately for us, he will not attack this turn. Steel can use Water Gun on Crocodile. Obviously, the bigger threat is Seal. Or Spiel, sorry. Spiel. There's a difference between Seal and Spiel, because Seal is a 
completely different Pokemon from Spiel. Alright, anyway. Maybe we could do Surf and Swift. That might work. I don't think Swift would get no it would get with Spiel, but still, it's close. And there's decent damage on the snow, really not that much. I wasn't expecting it to. Powder Snow is gonna hit both Pokemon. Uh, not very effective on Croc and all. However, Espeon eh, it still doesn't take that much damage. And Croc might use Surf. Maybe can get rid of uh, Spiel. Let's see here. Uh, I wasn't really expecting that. But okay. Wow, Storm took quite a hit. And Powder Snow from Spiel. Not a bad move. Not very effective against Croc and all. Uh, Espeon takes it pretty easily. So we'll go with a bite on that snow run, and we'll go with Swift. That's good. So that should give her a spiel. Yes, it does. Goodbye, spiel. Ah, uh, poor spiel. And snow run takes some decent damage from that. Alright, get some experience. Snow run is icy wind, but only crocodile is faster. It's not very effective. Oh, speed belted. Alright. Speed belt as well. Okay, that's it. Alright, Crocodile used Bite. And a critical hit. Talk about overkill. Snore and Fate. That's a nice experience for us, man. How'd this happen? Alright, 512 bucks for winning. I still think that they have a pretty decent amount of health. So I'm gonna keep them like that. Uh, nothing in here it looks like. Just a bunch of messy books. Uh, oh, there's an item in here. An item box in here. A revive! That's pretty nice. Nice item. I don't see what you're gonna do. My Pokemon can dance with elegance even in a dump like this. It really doesn't matter what matter where you are. It Dancing is just kind of something you can do for the general. Which Pokemon can dance? Oddish? What? Anyway, Crocodile and Espeon. So, alright. I think Espeon can get rid of that, um, that Oddish with these, so. I'm gonna gamble that whatever that last Pokemon is, it's gonna be a fire type, because usually, you know. She has a grass type and a water type, so I'm gonna try to get into the head of the AI and say that the last one's gonna be a fire type. Hoping, for hoping. No, but it is so weak to surf. So, let's go with that. Oh wow, Dragon Dance on Horsey. That's gonna boost attack and speed. That is a very nice move. Alright, surf. Big hit on Horsey, man. Seriously. Not very effective, but goodness gracious. Sancher will go down. And get some decent clearance with us beyond. And let's just bite and confusion. Hope for dust. Confusion probably will get rid of it. And in fact it does, so Horsey fainted. Alright, no one took any damage from that. Nice. Hunter Toby was defeated. Dancing alone doesn't win any battles. The end is always so cruelly pitiless. Oh, woe. Woe is me. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I thought she was going to battle me because I was able to like, walk like, right on the, the left side without getting spotted, but okay. Cacnea and Tentacool. A water poison type and a grass type. I believe Cacne is just grass. I don't believe it's um dark or poison or anything like that. I think it's just grass. Alright, so let's go with the bite attack on that Cacne and the confusion on Tentacool. Espeon should be able to get rid of Tentacool because water poison poison is psychic. Wow, is that Tentacool a trooper? Tentacool is gonna use bubble beam. On Crocodile, not gonna really kill it, but. So we could hit Crocodile's gonna use Bite on Cacnea. Perhaps we can get a flinch. 
No, track me and we'll use Fan Attack. And uh, I hope that's not hitting for Espeon. It is a critical hit at Espeon. Well played, Cacnea. Well played. And look at that, we have an entire team of Shadow Pokemon now. This Grievous will be sent out, this Grievous um, lose some of that hard gauge. Uh, I guess we'll go with Sir and Shadow. Oh, and this Grievous will be Mook. Not really something that's too effective um, because there's no wild Pokemon, so it's not like we're able to like keep a wild Pokemon from running away. Uh, it does keep some trainers from switching up the Pokemon, which, which sometimes the AI will switch up the Pokemon, but really you won't see that too much. Anyway, Crocodile, you surf. Maybe this can get rid of Tentacool. I'm pretty positive it will get rid of Cacnean. It does. Um, I'm not really sure about Tentacool, because Tentacool has an amazing amount of special defense. I have respect for that. Alright, and that Pokemon, yeah, it's going to go down. Shadow Rush and boom. Alright. You turn the tables on me. Alright, that's nice. Grr, done in. But how? What blind spot did you exploit? I'm not really sure. Uh, how do I go want to go about this? You know what I'm going to do? I probably should heal up, but I'm going to just, for now, keep going until flapping the screen is so low on health. Oh wow, we are now at the top of this building. Let's go over here first. And we'll find out, darling, aren't you one of Duke and these people? What made you think that you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy. Where is Mirror B? I'm taking him down. Take him down? After the beating you took? That's too funny. <laughs> you wait, I'm gonna drive all of you out of this town. Oh, <laughs> such a waste. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down, like we did with Duke. What? Oh! We seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. That's no excuse for being a bad host. So here we go. We have a mirror BP on Reactor. Reef. Reef. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Reef. Anyway, Rumory and Spinarak. God dang, I wish I had Aspion on the field. Uh, unfortunately, he got away. So, Flappy and Mysterious. Do I really have, like, is everyone in my Pokemon on board? Wow, uh, there's nothing else. Happen. I think it's all by chance. Anyway, oh, there's a Shadow Pokemon. I truly don't discriminate whether it's a boy or a girl. Everyone in my party is a boy. What the heck? <laughs> I just realized that. Anyway, uh, let's go with a. I don't want to use Thunder Shock because that might be. Oh my god, it's level 20. I just noticed that. Yeah, Thunder Shock would definitely be way too much for it. So let's use Thunder Wave. And, ooh, it learned Shadow Ball. I think I'll actually use that on Spinarak. Spinarak takes that and does not go down. So Shadow Rush. Ooh, man, a critical hit on Flappy. And it's hit with Recoil, not really too big of a deal there. Will you stun the way you want it? Paralyzed. Yep. Spinarak is going to use Agility, because it is the slowest Pokemon on the field as of now, but now it might not. Uh, we'll go with a... I guess we'll go with Shadow Rush on that Rumoray. Meanwhile, we'll just use Shadow Ball. Actually, Thunder Shock on whatever comes after Spinarak. Alright, so Shadow Ball hits Spinarak. And I love this to set up, so I really did guess right there. I called a thunder shock on whatever Pokemon was going to be sent out next. And in fact, it was a water Pokemon, so I get a free hit. And remember, it's going to be Shadow Rush, and see what you did on. Not too much damage there. 
but all it takes is a critical hit to really change the whole entire mood of the battle. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll go with another thunder shock on that long disc. You know what, we're just gonna go with the Pokeball. Because I don't really feel confident that I'll weaken it without killing it. So I'll just go with a Pokeball. It has almost full health, but it's paralyzed, and it is a very low level uh, at this point in the game. So let's see. And Rarity was caught on the first try. Wow. But this is gonna use agility. That's completely useless because it will definitely go down this turn if Thundershock hits. Which it does, so goodbye Lundis. Love is fainted. Aw, oh, it's so sad. Love is over. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> How did that happen? Unbelievable. 660 bucks for winning. My Pokemon couldn't muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. Were you hired by duking as his bodyguards? Let me warn you. If you mess with us, you better be prepared for the consequences. Yep, we're not done yet. No, no. We got just done with one of the two battles that we're going to have here. So, Mantine and Apom. Very nice Pokemon. Let's go. And of course, the Shadow Pokemon had to be Mantine. Ah, oh, I really wish it was Apom, because Mantine is not really an easy catchable Pokemon. Nonetheless, we have to catch it if we want to go for um, 100%, so we're doing it. Ah, oh, great, you screamed this. That's exactly what I needed you to do. Mantine's gonna use Bubble Beam, hopefully, to target. No! Ah, oh, man. That was the only way it was going to get that thing paralyzed. Oh man, that sucks. I guess I'll go with Noctowl, because I think Noctowl is more defense. I don't want to send out Croctowl, because it will die in one hit. I don't want to do that. Anyway, Apom needs agility. Get some speed up for it. And this Grievous is still hypermed, so let's go with the Hypnosis. Apom is Astonish. It's obviously going for Mistrevis, because Knockout would not be affected by a ghost type move. Anyway, Mantis needs Bubble Beam and Save it for Mistrevis. Okay, it's it's alright. Mistrevis is okay. Noctowl misses. Great! Oh my gosh. I don't think Shadowball would even come close to killing Mantis, so. Oh my god, 4 HP left. But thankfully it didn't flinch, so it will get that Shadow Ball off. But it doesn't even come close to getting rid of it. Uh, Noctowl! Oh! Mantine's first, uh oh. And Mistrevis is the target. Unfortunately, Mistrevis is down. This is not really looking good. I'm gonna send in Makahita because I don't want to send out Crocodile and get that kill. So, get the Makahita. Two Pokemon that I'm not using for my team on the field. And Noctel misses again. It's a 55% chance that Hypnosis will hit. Yet for some odd reason, it's missing like crazy. Anyway, if I'm using Astonish, he's back in head. Wow, that was actually a lot of damage. And he's using Bubble Beam, and that is head for. Makuhita as well, Makuhita, oh my gosh, it barely held on. Makuhita's going to use Hypnosis, and it finally hits Manti. Goodness gracious, so it will fall asleep. We don't really have to worry about it too much. And Makuhita, we waited all that time for him to pitch. That's great. Alright. He pumped his Astonish, and Makuhita's down. That's great. That's freaking fantastic. Alright, Crocodile is the only other Pokemon we got. So that's our map. Spouse asleep, thankfully. And I tell we need Shadow Rush. Alright, good 
someone surprises you. You may flinch. The next... Oh my god! It's so frustrating. I'm gonna use hypnosis on that mother effort. Because this effing piece of crap is making me flinch every single turn. I'm gonna use Astonish. I'm gonna use hypnosis. Thankfully, that freaking worked! Alright! Don't fall asleep! And Crocodile, you serve! Holy crap! He didn't flinch this time! Brett is down. Very nice hit from Crocodile. But there's still another problem. Potion of Crocodile. Then we'll try a Surf Attack. We should get rid of Apom, and Yama will do probably just some damage on that. So, Yama will do Sonic Boom on Octal. Alright, Crocodile will do Surf. We'll take advantage of the fact that it was not hit. And Yama takes that like a pro, but Apom is down. Thankfully, we got that down. Shadow Rush and Sonic Boom probably gets Crocodile. No, it's against Noctowl. And wow, first one to match. Oh, crap, Noctowl is going to be the Hyper Mode. Let's fight it. Let's see what we can do against it. Not really too much there. Alright, so I'll call Noctowl. 
my gosh, this thing is getting a lot of speed. So I call my tail from my familiar and I'll just not go with Surf. Surf is probably going to do more damage than Fight. Alright. Sonic Boom. That's the Noctowl again. Noctowl is going to beat up over here. Probably going to be Surf. Critical hit, talking about overkill, Yama Fane. Good shot. Good shot. It's nice to know that when Crocodile's not flinching, uh, you can actually do something good. What just happened? Unbelievable. Unbelievable times, too? I, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Wreath, let's make ourselves scarce for the time being. Righto, from a Ultra Super Fire Dash. Uh, let's go help uh, Silva. Uh, ow! Thank you. you. Save me. Do you know? Do you people know Duking? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm cool. I didn't know what was happening at all. They've taken Duking's Pokemon hostage. How could they do something so downright dirty? That's why we're here. We came to rescue Plusle. I'm going to. Ah! Ow! Not in your condition, you'll have to wait here. <laughs> we meet again, kiddies. Mirror B, you cowardly cheat! Cowardly cheat? That's so not true. Taking a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic. You call that a tactic? Puzzle had better be okay. Oh, the darling couldn't be any safer if it tried. I'm sure it will come to adore me for too much longer. You've gotta be kidding. Where is it? Give it back! <laughs> no, running or hiding from me. For me, come to the cave. That's where I'll be. He's right. I'll be waiting for you, my pretties. <laughs> oh, I can move. Alright, I got creamed by the guy who was guarding the cave entrance. Be careful when you go to the cave. The sentinel stop. So we can't go down. Okay, so we have to go to this cave, but I do want to see what's down there still. I'm going to go heal up, however, just in case something is down there that we have to fight in the way, shape, or form. And I'm going to fix the line up a little bit. Um, let me go with Espeon and Mistrevis for now. We've been seeing way too much of Crocodile. And Flappy... We'll, we'll see more Flaffy later. Right now, I just want to get Miss Reba's heart gauge down, because I know it has just a little bit left. And I do want to get Espeon some level ups as well, because it is really the only Pokemon in our team currently that can level up. Umbreon, if we had kept it, it could have leveled up as well, but really... Oh, wait, no, I already did that. Uh, Umbreon is really just not that good of a Pokemon, in my opinion. Defense can only really get me so far. Anyway. Alright, I'm debating with myself whether I should do this next part. Nah. Nah, this'll this'll be another another thing for part eight, I guess. So I will see you guys in the next walkthrough where we will investigate those stairs, and if there's nothing down there, we'll go into the cave and we'll find out just what is down there. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.